Hello everybody and welcome to Takeover by Iriasoft. Now I probably screwed up that name, I apologize, but this was recommended to me a while back by Nostalgia Throwback Studios, and it's another Flash game um, that I'm playing on the Flash Games Archive area, so if there's a better way to play this game, let me know in the comments before I get too far into the game. Because uh, if there's a better website or just a recommended website, I'd rather play it on that because we know that the Flash Games Archives has problems sometimes running games. So um, if you're enjoying new games on the channel, do me a favor, hit the like button and the subscribe button below. Helps the channel grow. Leave comments. Maybe you can get a game on here. It'll, I'll probably play the game at some point. But there are three campaigns. Uh, they said something in the campaign story about how we had a kingdom fell to dark doctrines. And um, I have never played this game before, so I don't really know what to expect. But you have to start as the Westeria campaign, and then you can go to the other two. So there are badges in this. Let me see here. Complete the campaigns. Uh, complete them with perfect ratings, which we know I stink at. Issue all the basic edicts. Okay. Uh, complete a mission with perfect control seven minds at the same time. Control seven. Okay, so what kind of game is this? Open a treasure chest. Is this like is this an RPG or is this a okay? The Duchy of Westeria is located on the Western Islands. Fair enough. It was always safe from the troubles of the continent, but here they come. I mean, that's about as simple as it can get, right? Everything was good until it wasn't. Okay. What we got? Okay. Oh, okay, it's one of those games. Okay. Okay. My lord, the neighbor strongholds were seized by undead. We must defend your manor castle. Click the castle. Okay, I click the castle. Click the castle again. All trained guards are ready to protect our lands. Click the button to hire your first squad. Okay, actually, I'm not completely... What a weird style game. I don't think I've ever seen this particular style. I've seen the ones where you have to like drag the lines and take areas, but this is more of like a dungeon style to it. Well, let's purchase our first guards. Undead forces are advancing, my lord. Uh, drag the guards icon to the squad to attack. Okay. Okay, that part's fairly... Yeah, that part's fairly normal for me. Let's see how this fighting works. Are my people even doing anything? <laughs> I mean, one side has scythes, the other side looks like they're just kind of holding their long swords at their hands. Okay, we got a victory. Nice. Okay, hooray, we've reestablished the order, my lord. Uh, now you will constantly gain gold. Use it to hire guards and archers. Unfortunately, a castle can't support more than two guards, but if you seize this town, you'll be able to hire more. Well, I'm going to get the archers set up, and I'm going to send them to support my guards, who have taken quite a bit of damage. But I'm hoping this game actually does what I'm expecting it to do. Can I attack with both at the same time? I can, yes. And the archers actually work the way they're supposed to. Oh my gosh, you'd be so so shocked how many times I've seen them not work the way you're supposed to. Okay. Um, I guess we attack. We attack. Okay, so there's we don't take damage for attacking, it looks like, unless they send out somebody to actually defend. So this is kind of like civilizations mixed with those tower... Um, not those tower, those... uh. Ones where you drag the units over kind of thing. Okay. We've seized to the castle. Kind of dead right now, but we might want to do something about that. Oh, the whole land just repairs itself. It was a glorious battle, my lord, but you'd, you'd better leave your troops in the town for a while to let them restore the town and to reinforce the squads. After that, kick undead out of the northern castle. Okay. Um, can I do anything else outside of that, or do I just march them forward? Just march them forward, I guess. Okay, I can buy more troops, or I can upgrade the stronghold. We'll train veteran soldiers, that's cool. Guess I just reinforce 
and send them in. Good luck. I like this game. It's a very interesting game. I like the fact that there's only one route that you have to worry about. You'd think that I would prefer multiple routes because of that, the strategy that comes into it, but something just feels nice about the fact that I know where the enemy's coming from. <laughs> And I'm wondering what the perfect requirements are. Because this was just a complete sweep. Oh, they got another group coming out. But we're just we're running them around the castle. Okay, that's a unique way of fighting the undead. Ah, uh, when you have so many troops that they have to actually move their way around the castle. Ah. Uh, that's how you know you're fighting in a good fight. <laughs> Come on. Don't let any of our troops die. I don't know if that counts as a perfect or not. And... Two... One, and... Okay. Finished that, so that's a very simple one. Um, okay, so we got... Was that a perfect? That was a perfect. Okay, nice. Unlocks. Oh, you can upgrade things? Unlocks. Guards, archers. How does this work? What a weird... Two new upgrades? Is that what I'm supposed to read from over here? So I can upgrade Ducal Sovereignty, or I can upgrade the Lord's Church. If I upgrade the Lord's Church, I get... So the 75 plus gold in the beginning of the mission, this gives me 25% banners duration. I don't even know what a banner does yet. So I'm going to unlock the Ducal Sovereignty, which will give me 75 plus gold in the beginning of missions. And then I guess I just upgrade this. I have Monks and the Banner of Consecration. Heals and resurrects your units. Okay. I don't know if that's good or not. <laughs> Um, might have to reset that after a while. So what's this one? So the Crimson Horde was conquered by the Empire ages ago, but they never were fully bent. Havoc reigns in Rividus. And these barbarians are trying to seize our land. Okay, so now we're not fighting the undead, we're fighting the, uh, Crimson Horde. Okay, this is way more fleshed out now. My lord, horde barbarians occupy a well-fortified castle in the north. More bad news, our camp can't even supply a squad. But farms can give us additional supply points. Build, click the build site and press the farm construction button. Okay. Well done, now we can hire a squad and start our attack. Our generals recommend to attack the magic tower first. You will spot some ogres on the way, defeat them, and take their treasure. Okay, so this is... This is very... It's better to gather two or more soldiers you can by dragging selection over. How oh, weird. This almost reminds me of like like Dota almost or League. <laughs> it's very weird. Very cool game, honestly. Okay, so friendly priests have survived the enemy assault and offer their help in battle. Set the banner on the battlefield and there will be used. Our generals recommend to attack there first. Yes, I know, but you said to take out the ogre, and that's not going well. Hope you understand. <laughs> you recommended this fight. I don't like that little star that appeared there. Veteran. But he is weakened, so... Okay, nice. So what are they now? What's that little arrow underneath them? My precious, what was that? Oh, tons of gold. Tons of gold, okay. Um, assassins. I don't like assassins. We will attack them. And we will set up a another farm. I will purchase this here. Okay, that's not working at all. Retreat. I said retreat. No, they did not. They did nothing of the sort. So, wow, they are very fast and very annoying. But I think the archers will help out tremendously. 
We need to take that out. Um, what are the warriors? Okay. So we took out them. Let's bring them back. We have plenty of gold. If anything, we'd want more mana. But I don't think... I already have a mine. Let me go with that. Let me upgrade that. And now I can put in that. Now I have veteran soldiers. Okay. And now we just send all of these to attack. Oh, I've got a timer for perfect. How does that work? How long until it goes away from being perfect? If one group of warriors can take on this, I give up. <laughs> yeah, didn't even stand a chance. Okay, now we send them to attack that. Belongs to Crimson Horde. Once we get that, we should probably set up a gold mine. That was too easy. Let's take out this mage tower. And... Mage Tower Mine. Okay. Can we... Do we take it over now, or... And how does that work? What do we get from it? Mage Tower. Click it now to... Okay, congratulations. Magic Towers grant powerful magic and sacred might. Special units can be hired here as well. Moreover, Magic Towers recharge your ultimate power. Click now to unleash the power of the Lord. Sign of the Advent. What a blinding light. Let's wipe out them in their sacred town. Okay, well, I guess that's what we do then. And you know what? We're going to try a flank. We're going to go flank them from the side. Oh, yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> can you upgrade this? You can't upgrade this. You can also buy monks there. Okay. Didn't even work the flank because by the time everybody got there, it was already on over. This was a, just a complete route. <laughs> Let's throw down a banner. I keep forgetting the banner you actually just click on, put them there and there. Now we see, so five minutes passes, is that no longer perfect? Nope, still perfect, okay. So maybe it's just because it's in tutorial it's perfect? Okay, easy. And I leveled up again. Um, okay, fairly simple there. We can get Swordsmen, which are 10 more health, one more damage. Doesn't say how much they cost. <laughs> or I can get two of these and get more banner duration. Hmm. Hmm. I have not had a problem with that, so I guess I should get the banner duration. Okay. So anyways, guys, this has been TakeOver. Um, do me a favor. If you want to see more of it or other games, go into the comments. Comment. I will be coming back to this game normally. I just want to know how quickly I should come back to it. As you know, I've got a ton of Flash games that I'm working on right now. So just let me know if you want to see it sooner or maybe take some time or maybe just put it a little bit less frequently but thank you so much to nostalgia throwback studios for recommending the game really weird game cool game though cool game sometimes a, a different genre than you're used to is actually better uh i like the strategy aspect of it it feels like i said it feels almost like a like a league of legends but warcraft kind of style and i respect that um but have a great day, everyone. Bye.